little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome to another Chatting Skeletons episode. So today's episode, I am a sore loser. I think this video is just me accepting it, but I'll still continue to be a sore loser because that's just my personality. Anyway, how did I figure this out? Well, I'm a human being. I've been playing board games ever since I was little, and every time I would lose to like my grandmother or my mom, I'd throw a big hissy fit. That still hasn't changed. Recently, Hubby has purchased some video games for the Wii, and they've been games like Mario Party 8 and 9. He purchased uh, Super Mario Brothers, and he's per he's probably going to keep purchasing video games for my Wii because he's bored here and he wants a variety of video games to play. Anyway, so we started playing um, Super Mario, or not Super Mario, oh my god, Mario Party 9, and I've always seen people play Mario Party. And it looked very interesting to me because the one I would watch would actually be Mar uh, Mario Party 8. But to me, it just seems like a giant board game, which it is. But Mario Party 8 and Mario Party 9, from what I've experienced, are fairly different. Mario Party 9 is a board game. You have an objective. But Mario Party 8 is pretty much screw people over, collect as many stars and coins as you can, and in the end, we'll see who wins. So we started playing Mario Party 9. And of course, I'm new to this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So we start playing, and I, of course, I'm not doing well at first because I don't know what I'm doing. So each time I'm not doing well, I throw a giant-ass hissy fit. I'm like, you didn't do it. I'm starting to, like, blame him for stuff that I didn't do. Like, come on, that's kind of a bitch move. But anyways, I notice that once I get the hang of it, I start to get cocky. And I know I shouldn't be doing that because that makes me look like more of an asshole. But then again, it's like... It helps me feel better because I go from basically one extreme of my I'm a sore loser to the other extreme, which is I'm a cocky ass winner. But to be fair, I think everyone has a bit of competitive competitiveness in them. It's just a matter of where is your level at in terms of competitiveness. And I can say for sure, I am at both ends. There is no in between. I am at one end or the other. I can be a sore ass loser or extremely freaking cocky. We play, we play board games too. Like the board games we have here at home, we play all the time. One, two, two that we always play. I'll mention one because another one I'm going to have to save for another Chatting Skeletons episode. But one that we play all the time is Uno. And of course, Uno can be the quickest card game you ever played or it could take a while, whatever. But I've been keeping track of our winnings with Uno. And I've been kicking his ass. But I feel like if I was lower in terms of points, I'd be so freaking pissed. Because when we play another board game that we have, and again, it's going to have to be discussed in another Chatting Skeletons episode, but it's very challenging to play with two people, especially when you increase the level of difficulty to the point where, like, when I when we're, like, a couple of cards away from losing, I'm going to be like, we're going to lose, we're just going to lose, we're going to fucking lose. And that's where my sore loser, you know, bit of it comes in. I mean... I probably should work on the fact that I'm a sore loser and a cocky winner. But again, at the same time, where's the fun, where's the competitiveness fun in it? You know, like, I feel like you have to have some level of sore loser or cocky winner in order to have that competitive drive. But I mean, then again, that's just my opinion. I mean, like, I know other people play board games, video games differently in terms of, like, how they feel in terms of regression. Like, Hubby told me about the time he played Cuphead and there was this one boss he took, like, 87 tries to defeat. And he literally wanted to throw the control at the TV. So that's definitely at the range of sore loserness. Yeah, I mean, I'm a sore loser. I've accepted it. I should probably work on it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.